Okay, three. Nine. Fifteen. Nineteen. Uh... Twenty-four. Twenty-seven. Thirty. Um, well, that's a good question. I didn't really have a nickname that like kids gave me, but I gave myself the nickname of Laser and Bo Jackson Jr. because I loved Bo Jackson as a kid and I was in the Bo Jackson fan club. Nice. So I'll accept that. Um, I was taken in once for lighting fireworks in the neighborhood and one of the neighborhood like kids like a girl I went to school with who's in my grade her older brother like knew it was me <laughs> so he like waited in the the trees and he tackled me as I went home and was kind of mean but then on the way over he was like hey do you have any drugs give them to me if you do I don't want you to get in trouble for that like yeah, right. You want the drugs. I didn't have drugs, but... How old were you? Uh, 13, 14? Mm, I don't know. That's tough. Uh, I have weird little tics after I, like, get out of the shower and I'm clean. Where like, I, I don't know, it's kind of OCD-ish. I, I can't even explain what it is, but it's a weird thing that I do. Not, not as OCD as like turning something on and off, but just like, I, I can't, this is a dumb one to bring up because I don't know how to explain it. Like I think I do stuff with my mouth where I'm like, I don't know, it's weird. Like after I brush my teeth and stuff, just like, is everything clean? I don't know. I'm sure I've given some bad ones. I mean, we have a, uh, my friends and I have a secret Santa. So I've phoned a couple of those in with gift cards or something. But I think gift cards are the best present because no one really wants what you get them. They want what they want. Ooh, that's tough. I mean, I always want to make music and play music, so I don't, see myself ever stopping until I have to um, but I guess if the band retired or something I would want to coach CrossFit or travel the world and read and eat vegan food and visit all the coffee shops around the world one of those two um, that's good I don't believe in that but supposing that it's real um, I'm reading The Sandman now by Neil Gaiman so let's pretend that's the real one I'll, I'll ask how his time on earth has been I've not been watching the Lucifer show and I haven't read all the Lucifer comics which takes place after Lucifer leaves hell to Sandman and uh, frees everyone from hell. So now he's on Earth. He cut his wings off and hilarity ensues. I don't know. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I'd have... It, that would be great for me because being on tour, I'm always stuck at a venue all day. So I could have my clone either play the shows, consider, assuming that I experience all the things, like, they come back into me and then I'm like, okay, that, you know, all that stuff is fun that I didn't experience at the time. They would get to go around and do all the stuff that I wish I could do in cities.